Okay, on the leather today, I have a plastic bottle cutter, and this is the very one that I use to cut all the cord out of plastic bottles for the shelter I'm building, and I cut a lot of cord. Now, you'll see in videos where people are just racing through, pulling this stuff out, like double-handed, just whipping it out. Yeah, good luck with that. These work. They take practice. I've seen a lot of reviews to where there's nothing but complaining that these don't work and everything. They will. It's like everything else. It's a skill. They're fairly easy to use. The concept is simple. But don't expect to right out of the gate to be popping it out like, you know, like nothing's going on. That's the problem with most people today. They don't want to sit and learn anything. What this uses, these uses the break off blades to cut. There's a couple of a couple of sections in there. Just snap them off. You can buy those at any hardware store. Piece of square tube that's cut. This right here will adjust your cutting thickness of your your blade sits in here. It'll adjust your cutting thickness for your cord. In theory you can cut quite thin. I don't usually, I haven't had good luck with that. Besides I wanted something a little stronger so I run it somewhere about that thick. I have better luck with it. Lockdown, narrow lockdown screw, lock it down. Okay, your bottles, what the type of bottles that you use for success is essential. Smooth wall bottles. Any of the crimped in bottles, the, the ones with the crinkle decorations and all that, will make your life absolutely miserable. Uh, you, you hear, I saw a bunch of people whining on Amazon and stuff like that and in the reviews that any short sort of bottle should be able to be used yeah in theory that's great it's like everything else everything in you know everything in your head works perfect till you hit the real world now when you cut the bottle cut the bottom out of the bottle I leave a cap on it and how you cut the bottle you want it to where you can cut it as just as flat as you can and I need to clean my knife because this is the one I was cutting hedge apples with. Okay. I didn't get that. I didn't get a real good cut around. You want it cut as flat as you can get it. Which this isn't going to be. So we'll see one of the problems right up. Get the bottom off the bottle. Okay, the idea is slide it in the groove and then you start pulling it around. Okay, if your bottom isn't flat, that's what will happen. So it's kind of a self-correcting problem. Once you start going, it'll take your high spots off. It's just easier to make a good cut right out of the gate, which I didn't. I didn't clean the knife and it's, it was crap. So this makes for what you're, <laughs> better what you'll see anyway. All right, so we'll slide it back in. And once you get a tab out and it's kind of flat, I work it around. And your material, your thickness of what you're coming out will vary until you get the bottom evened out. Okay. And then once you do that, you can start pulling it through. 
and I pull slow until I get things going. That's about the thickness that I like. This stuff's pretty strong, and you can cut a continuous string basically out of a bottle. You see, I'm just ripping this out. Now, your angle of approach of your bottle, how your bottle sits like this, is kind of critical on whether it'll stay. You can see it's starting to thin out. Well, the bottle changed. See the angle of the bottle and the thickness? It's starting to change. So, you can just start it again. Pull the little tab out and I'll run it around a couple of passes around. It's been a while since I've run this. It's a skill like everything else. If you don't use it, it tends to degrade a little. If you get enough of a tab out that you can get your hands on, and and how you pull, the angle that you pull your cord all makes a difference. You'll get a lot of cussing going on. This is the other way you can do it. There's several different ways you can do this. It doesn't really matter either way. Sometimes I'll take Take the cap off and you can put a dowel through there and then you can push up into it off a stump or a branch you could use a branch off a tree if you're out push into it and that'll keep pushing it down into it and you can pull pretty quick and then you can keep your angle about right but when you watch them there's a certain angle you can you can get things just where where it works just right and you just keep pulling and you can get it This stuff can be braided, it can be wrapped around things to make whatever you need and heated and shrunk. It is plastic bottle, so it's fairly strong. You can braid it together into rope. See it? There you go. Now. It's that's working pretty good. About the time you start getting confident, it'll thin out and pop off. And then, depends on what you're looking for though. If you're needing cordage to make small things, short little links, you know, like this, wouldn't be an issue. If you wanna tie like a pack frame together, things like this, that'll work. You can, you know, you can make anything you need. You can make traps with the, using this, you can, types of fish spears things along that line you could wrap it and then heat it over a fire and it'll hold it tight anything you can use regular cordage for you can really kind of use this for I know a lot of people complain that you're adding things along into the environment plastic and all this other well there's a lot of plastic already there and if you're in a situation use what you have in another video later I'll show how to make one of these if you don't have one in your kit to carry which I never carry this anyway oh just using a small tree branch or something along that line I'll show how to show how to make one of these or you can use any any bottle like this that you can find any bit of plastic but this is how you make cordage from a bottle you can get quite a lot of cord I've got two liter bottles I've got now almost 30 yards of cord out of about that thickness yeah, I can go, you can go thinner than this as you can see, but you got to be really careful about how you're doing it. And thicker, you get less cord, but it's stronger. 
there it pulled off but you can see how it is and there you have a funnel for something else if you need it but these are on amazon different companies make them i wouldn't pay more than ten dollars for it if you're wanting to take the time you can see how it is you can make it easily enough there's other different products out there this one from the company i got it from is currently unavailable i think that most people found that they're a little trickier to use than what they make everything look like as most things uh, they make it look simple just so they can sell them most things usually are simple once you play with it a little bit this is one of them it works well 